Now to the ongoing algae crisis. There is no quick fix to solving this problem, and there is no easy way to get rid of it either. News Channel 5's Katie Johnson live from the St. Lucie Lock in Stewart to explain. Katie? Well, nearly two dozen companies from all across the country have reached out to Martin County. They want the county to hire them to remove the algae. Well, we spoke to a scientist today who's been studying this type of algae for years, and he says it's not an easy job to do. This is all bloom. In his office at Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute, scientist Jim Sullivan is able to see what the algae looks like from space thanks to pictures from NASA. You can actually look down and see the entire area at once and get a, a much better idea of just how much is there and where it is. Sullivan is working to get federal funding to learn more about this bloom and where it all started. He says you have to understand what you're dealing with before you can stop it. If you're going to make policy decisions about how to stop this, the only way you can do it is to be informed. You need the science behind it to make a good decision. One decision someone needs to make is who will get the algae out of the water. During a meeting yesterday in Martin County, the ecosystem restoration manager said dozens of companies want the job. This is an unprecedented event in our community, and so we need to proceed carefully to ensure that we're actually solving problems and not creating them. The county is leaving it up to the South Florida Water Management District to make that decision. There's no easy fix. It's going to be a process. Sullivan says adding algicide to the water to kill the algae isn't the right choice. You have to take it out of the water. You can actually do this kind of mechanical removal where you can use almost like an oil skimmer technology to get all that stuff that's floating on the surface and remove it out of there. But he says there's a catch. And scooping it up, they mechanically crush the algal cells. They could release their toxins. And there's no telling how long those toxins can survive in the water. And the one thing fueling both the growth and the decay of this algae is the near record temperatures that we're experiencing this week. Sullivan says the heat actually helps living algae grow faster while speeding up the decaying process for the dead stuff. We're live in Stewart, Katie Johnson, WPTV News Channel 5.